before I talk about the product in front of me, I have to talk about what a Venturi is and what it does. Well, quite simply, Venturis, they suck. Literally, they suck. This is a purge jet, and this uses Venturi to, in order to draw a vacuum in the EVAP system. Fast moving air comes in through this orifice, pulling air through this orifice with it in order to create a vacuum. Here, I have a tool this is to help create a vacuum in the cooling system. Fast moving air past an orifice helps create a vacuum. So in other words, that tool's too. So this under tray that doesn't suck, in fact, I thought I was gonna say it sucked, pulls air out of the engine compartment at higher speeds, partially due to the Venturi effect. See, if you see this lip here, this is fast moving air through slower moving air because the air moving underneath the car is going to be faster because you're not pushing it through a radiator first. Now, in the factory under tray, when you have the radiator and you start picking up speed, you actually create a positive pressure scenario inside the engine compartment. No, it's not enough to blow your eardrums out or do this to your eyes, but it is enough to create a problem. See, the more pressure you have inside the engine compartment, the harder the actual fans and the system has to work to get air past the radiator. And this is where the majority of your cooling can come from. Now, yes, the Honda has the vents down the side of the car that come from the fenders. So the air goes in through the radiator, up to the top of the engine compartment, out through the edge of the fenders and down. But that's a lot of turns and air doesn't like to make turns. That simply slows it down. Being that this is much closer to the radiator, you will actually help relieve a lot of this positive pressure. But there's an additional benefit that, well, nobody really seems to know or understand because they haven't tested it. I have. I have tried to run my vehicle in the middle of the summer with no under tray, just to see what happens. And on those hot days, when that pavement is baking underneath your car, it makes it hotter. It's actually worse than running the under tray because the temperature is so high on the pavement below. And I know what some people are gonna say, well, why do race cars have flat bottoms? Well, those guys have completely redesigned fenders, hoods, everything completely cars completely redesigned. Some people just don't have $10,000 to add to their vehicle just to redesign the front end of it. So in this case, this is a great solution to help remove heat from the engine compartment. And it's quite simply, it doesn't suck. So get yours at fktd.com or jpmotorworks.com. The FKTD will send you to the link. I've got more trays coming in for the FK8, and I still have some trays left for the FL5. So thank you for tuning in, and I hope you enjoyed the video. That doesn't suck.